Welcome to CBS This Morning. We're learning more about a new arrest outside Boston just hours after police shot and killed a terror suspect. Investigators say a man picked up last night in Everett, Massachusetts, was communicating with Usama Rahim about attacks in America. Officers shot Rahim during a confrontation on Tuesday in Boston's Roslyn, Roslindale neighborhood. He was under 24-hour surveillance at the time he was killed. Jeff Begays in Washington is talking with his sources. Jeff, good morning. Good morning. We just got that confirmation minutes ago. U.S. law enforcement sources tell us the suspect arrested overnight and Usama Rahim were communicating and discussing potential attacks. Sources say Rahim, the man shot and killed on Tuesday, was allegedly influenced by ISIS and planning a knife attack before investigators moved in to question him. Late Tuesday, police led David Wright out of an Everett, Massachusetts home. Police say his arrest is linked to the terror investigation just 14 miles away, where investigators say Usama Rahim pulled out this knife and waved it at officers. Moments later, police fired, shooting and killing him. We believed he was a threat. Boston Police Commissioner William Evans says the shooting was caught on nearby surveillance cameras. He says the video shows police guns weren't drawn at first. And they kept retreating, verbally giving commands to drop the weapon, drop the weapon. And at some point, the individual proximity came close that the officers were in danger. Federal law enforcement sources say Rahim has been on Joint Terrorism Task Force radar for several months. But in recent weeks, they began tracking him 24 hours a day. In the aftermath of the failed attack in Garland, Texas, the FBI increased surveillance and investigations on closed cases and perceived low-priority threats. Recent intelligence bulletins have warned about homegrown violent extremists influenced by ISIS's online propaganda, which has been urging attacks against law enforcement and military. A federal law enforcement source tells CBS News that investigators believed Usama Rahim wanted to target police. His brother and a mom in a mosque in Oakland, California, tweeted that before Rahim was shot, he was on the phone with his father, and his last words were, I can't breathe. Ali Sameh is a member of the mosque. It's unfortunate that it feels like we've become a place where we shoot first and ask questions later. This is deeply troubling, and we're all very, very hurt right now. A team from FBI headquarters in Washington has been sent to Boston to investigate whether the FBI acted appropriately at a standard procedure in a fatal shooting like this. Law enforcement officials do not believe there is currently a threat to public safety in this case, but they have been quickly moving to examine connections to Osama Rahim, the man at the center of this terrorism investigation. Gail. Jeff, thank you.